think Greg is getting ready oh, yes. to do his performance. We're going to leave the stage and uh, we're going to hand the stage over to him. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Greg Chapman. Music? Yeah, get that music down a bit, then we'll have no problem if we get a little bit better. I'm going to use the mics. I'll wait for you to save that mic first. Right! If you could do me a favour, my friend, take two steps backwards that way. Um, just for my health and safety. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen! what I like to hear. We're all in the mood for some fun. It's fantastic. Um, just to let you know, before I start juggling uh, the nice day, um, I have been up since 2am. I had to get a 4 o'clock ferry from the Isle of Wight and I thought, what can make this more fun than positioning myself right in the midst of what looks like some very, very expensive equipment? Um, so, I would just like to make it clear at this point in time, um, I would like to completely indemnify myself if anything happens. Um, this is all the responsibility of anybody but me. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a little bit of juggling, I'm going to do a little bit of magic, basically. I'm going to do, oh my word, did you know your head's come off? Okay, don't worry about it, it's fine. Just worry me a little bit. I can fix it. These things happen. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at me. Don't, don't, don't look down there. That's much better. There we go. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I was gone weird already. I knew it was going to. I was warned when I, I was warned when I agreed to perform here. They said you can perform, but it's weird. I know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, right. We start with the juggling. Now, of course, there's a problem that you've all seen immediately with the juggling of the night, and that is that none of you are clapping. <laughs> no, 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 no. Too late. Too late. No, no, no. We There's a reason for that. You don't want to stop. <laughs> There's a reason for that. The reason for that is that these days everybody knows the secret of knife juggling because, of course, there is a secret of knife juggling. Yeah, and the secret to knife juggling it's is that while I'm juggling these three knives, I am, of course, completely safe. That is because I know that these are sharp pieces of metal. I know they are spinning through the air. I know I do not want one of them stuck in me, and contrary to popular opinion, I am not an idiot. <laughs> Therefore, the very second that this goes even slightly wrong, instead of letting one of these knives fly back and hit me in the face, I will take all three of these knives and I will throw them as far away from me as I possibly can. <laughs> Therefore, Therefore, while I'm juggling these knives, I'm completely safe. It is only you that are in danger. That's why I have insurance. That's all right. And then. so, I went away a couple of years ago and I tried to find a way to even the odds. And what I came up with, ladies and gentlemen, was this. I assume we are all familiar with the concept of an animal trap. For anyone who is not, I will offer up, easy does it. I will offer up, it's quite low ceiling in here. I will offer up, I just realised that. I will offer up a very, very brief, easy. Stay, I should have tightened that nut. I will offer up a very brief explanation. There are three main parts to the animal trap. There is a spring here. There is a trigger here. And there are arms here. This will be left laying in the ground until a sweet little bunny rabbit came along. Oh. La, da, 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 da. Just enjoying a lovely day in Wales. La, da, da. And if that little bunny rabbit treads on that tree, snap! No more bunny rabbit! Now, we don't use these on animals anymore, it's not very nice, so I managed to get two of them quite cheaply and I stuck them on a stick. <coughs> Clever ones amongst you can see now how this game is played. This hand is what I lovingly refer to as your problem. Something goes wrong with this hand, one of you will go home doing an impression of Van Gogh. Yes, this hand is my problem, this is genuinely the bit of my kit that scares me the most. This has gone wrong exactly once. I caught that end with that finger. Those of you closest to me can probably see that finger is no longer entirely straight. It broke just above the second knuckle. I couldn't juggle for two and a half weeks. I lost two and a half weeks wages. 
and two and a half weeks wages for a professional juggler. Not worth worrying about, actually. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two knives, two man traps, one idiot, and no applause whatsoever. <laughs> Again. Let me make this really easy for you. If these two man traps go underneath <coughs> this arm and a court in this hand, that is your cue for a massive round of applause. Here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah? yeah. I may admit, if you just stay that side of the black line for me, then my insurance works. Doesn't make you any safer, it just means I don't have to pay. Um, you back again? I, as I may have mentioned, I have been up since right. 2 o'clock this morning, 4 o'clock ferry. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more applause than that. So, I just realised I made a, what might be a faithful mistake. Um, you see, this last trick, just remembered, I did promise my fiance I would never do this one again. Uh oh. I love you. Uh, no, Ladies and gentlemen, if these two man traps go underneath this leg <laughs> and a court in this hand, that is your cue for a massive round of applause. However, if these two man traps stop here. It has gone horribly wrong. I will need an ambulance, and Flick will need a new fiance. Okay. I've also just realised that uh, these new trousers. I'm not quite sure this is going to work. Okay, here we go. In three. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. When a guy has just announced he's about to throw two man traps under his leg, dangerously close to something he might need on his wedding night. That is the perfect occasion to suddenly fire a flash bulb off right in his face. Well done over there. Fantastic. I'm joking. Take all the photos you want. Okay, here we go. In three, two. No, I've been thrown by that flash bulb. Hold on, give me a moment. I'll tell you what, actually, can you all help me get my confidence back? Would you all help me count backwards from three? Oh, that fills me with confidence, doesn't it? Let's try that again. Will you all help me count down? That means I escape from things like straight jackets, handcuffs, and of course ropes. And I'm someone that gets incredibly bored if I'm standing around doing nothing. So I always have something to play with. Oh, we're different classes, steampunks down here. Okay. I always have something to play with, and what I always have is I always have bits of rope just to practice my knots. And what I would do is I would take one of these ropes and I would just practice tying a reef knot right over left and under, left over right then under, and uh, I just tie a nice loop of rope. Then I'll grab another bit of the rope, and once again, I'll tie a nice reef knot, right over left and under, left over right and then under, give me two nice loops of rope. Uh, and then of course what I do, is I would take the third piece of, um, yeah, take the third piece of rope, and what I would do is, uh, yeah, I take the third piece of rope, and what I do is, I, I'm making a right hash of this today, I will tie a reef knot, right over left, and under, left over right and under, and now is the time for my confession. I must admit, I, all, I just lied to you, I was never just practicing my knots. What I was practicing was a little magician's technique called misdirection. You'll notice I tied these two knots flawlessly, this one I stumbled on. I pulled it away from my head a couple of times. What this did is it made you all focus on the red rope. What you didn't see while I did that is that I actually untied the yellow rope and I threaded it through the blue rope. Now, don't clap yet, it gets worse. Now, you have to pay attention to what's going on. I'm gonna make it right and easy for you. No misdirection, I just want you to watch the yellow rope. Watch that yellow knot right there. Keep watching the yellow knot. Because the great thing is, if you keep watching that yellow knot right there, you don't see me untie and retie the red rope. That takes me a lot of effort. Now, I know some of you, some of you are slipping behind a little bit, so I'm going to take this nice and slowly for you now. 
Watch very closely, I'm going to show you as it happens. I take the red rope, I place the red knot into my hand. I untie the red knot within my hand, I then feed the red rope through the red rope. I tie that knot back up and it's through. Put your hand up if you saw me untie that knot. Good, there's always one. Okay, um, now of course, at this point in time, some people think that I'm not entirely telling you the truth. I've lied to you once, could I be lying to you again? And of course the answer is yes, of course I am lying to you again. In fact, this was never about knots, this was never about misdirection, this was all about hypnosis. You've actually been under mass hypnosis, there has never been anything but one, two, three, entirely separate ropes. That is the rope tree, that is when you clap. Okay. Let's, um, let's finish off the show in style. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to finish off with the most dangerous trick that I know how to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to attempt, I'm going to use the word advisedly, especially in here, I'm going to attempt to juggle the knives of And it's just occurred to me, that's how I started the show as well. I've messed that up, haven't I? Okay. <laughs> Forget the nice death. I'll tell you what, I'm going to actually, um, just before I do that, a little bit of history for you. Because I am a travelling performer. Travelling performers have been travelling around the country for hundreds and hundreds of years. And as long as there have been travelling performers, there has been a little tradition that some of you may not be aware of. <coughs> At the end of a juggler's show, what he would do is he would take a hat or he would take a tin this one clearly marked with the label Greg the Juggler's Wedding Fund. He will stand round about here and he will invite everybody who has enjoyed the entertainment to reach into their pockets, take out a contribution, however small, fold it up neatly and place it into the tin. Um, now, what I do ask people to do, this is uh, how I make my living. I travel around, I make my living by the courtesy of what we call the hat, whether it be hat or tin. Uh, all I ask you to do is at the end of the show, just have a think about what you might pay for a cup of coffee at Starbucks or a small family car and just put that amount of money in the tin at the end of the show. Now, before that, of course, we need a slightly bigger finish than a knife. So, I am going to attempt, and I use the word advisory, especially at this time of day, I'm going to attempt to juggle the knives of certain death. As I stand, perilously balanced, atop the plank of doom. Ladies and gentlemen, plank of doom. Idiot! <laughs> Please do, uh, do ask for absolute silence uh, during this particular trick. Oh bless you, don't do that when the knives are in the air though, whatever you do. Thank you very much my friend. Here we go! Oh. Here we go! And, there we go! I'm sure it was bigger. <laughs> Alright, give up. How did you do that one? Right. I'm just going to let you through before I carry on, because that's just right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn to juggle the knives of death. While I stand perilously balanced on the plank of doom, which in turn will stand perilously balanced atop the tube of minor inconvenience. <laughs> Be honest, I ran out of names. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if this works, it won't work very long, especially on a floor as slippery as this. I just realised how slippery the floor is. Okay. I'm going to attempt to do this, ladies and gentlemen. I'll stand on the plank of death. Um, I juggle, nice big round of applause, I'll put the knives away, fill the tin with money, that's the way to do it. And, uh, by the way, just out there, I do have my incredible stage tricycle. I can't stand on that under here, so I've left it outside. If anyone wants a photo on that later, just ask. But here we go, in three, two, one, there we go! <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? You're cheating. What do you mean cheating? You're meant to stand on it and then... Look how you're standing. Oh, it's 
put the balance on it. Fantastic. You just show me how that's done, and then I'll have it. No, 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 no. OK, here we go. My shorts doesn't cover you. Here we go. Especially not with that gleam. Here we go. Here. Oh, easy. OK, gentlemen, remember, if this works, it doesn't work very long, get your applause in nice and quick. Let's get on. Oh, boy, here we go. Oh, no, no, left, 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 no, right. Left, 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 right foot, right foot, sort of. No, boys, get it together down there. Get it together down there. Yeah, like I say, different glass of steam plugs. OK, here we go. Here. Sort of behave yourself. You made that Ooh, one yourself. Me? Here we go. Here. Whoop. In. Ah. <laughs> He's got crump. <laughs> OK, this is going to be a quick, quicker than usual. I'm not even joking. OK, here we go. I'm not doing a countdown. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the big 